Hello class, this is Mr. Lucero and we are going to continue our activities no, about Unit 2 on page 30. So in this part we are going to realize that we have an activity of speaking, talking about a sport event. There is a boy, there is a girl, or you can say a man and a woman talking. No, Listen, David and Rachel are talking about the final Champions League game. Listen and answer which sport is Rachel fan of. So in this activity, what do you have to do? Is just to listen and tell which sport is Rachel fan of. Okay. Unit two, track twenty-three. Speaking. Activity one. Hi, Rachel. Where are you going? Oh, hi, David. To the city center. I'm going to collect my tickets for the game. Game? Which game? What do you mean, which game? The final Champions League game that is going to be held here. I'm not a big soccer fan and completely forgot about it. Isn't the final always held in the same city? No, it's always in a different city. Last year, Liverpool was beaten by Real Madrid in Kiev and this year, the Reds are in the final again. Are you a Liverpool supporter? Sure! I never miss a game. I'm just wondering who will be selected for the starting lineup. I'm so excited! So, the audio is finished. So, according to the audio, David and Rachel are talking about the final Champions League game. So, which sport is Rachel fan of? Hmm? Volleyball? Basketball? Soccer. That's right. Rachel is fan of soccer. Okay, now let's see. Let's continue with the second part. Listen to the second part of the conversation and complete the dialogue. Okay, this dialogue. No? Aren't they by the manager? Okay, so you are going to listen. And now you are going to complete the conversation. Unit 2, track 24, speaking, activity 2. Aren't they chosen by the manager? Yes, some are selected for the starting lineup and others will be bench players. However, if a player is not doing well, is hurt or tired, he can be substituted. Who do you predict will win the game? I'm sure Tottenham will be beaten. What do you think the result will be? 2-1. And I think Salah will be named the best player of the game. I guess he's going to be named one of the greatest players of all time. Maybe one day I'll understand soccer better. Come to the game. I'm sure you'll just love soccer. Okay, now let's see. The conversation starts like, aren't they? And we need to complete this part. By the manager? Chosen. That's right. No? Chosen. Now, let's see. I'm going to fix this. Wait a minute. Yeah, much better. Aren't they chosen by the manager? Yes. Some are. Aha. Uh -huh. Selected. For the starting lineup, and others will, uh huh, another will be perfect. Another will be bench player. However, if a player is not doing well, is hard or tired, he can be substituted. Okay, he can be. Let me see. Uh huh. Excuse me. Excellent. Substitute. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Now let me see. It's okay. Who do you predict will? Aha, uh -huh, will win. Excellent. The game. I'm sure that they have will. 
will be aha uh -huh, will be beaten excuse me will be beaten what do you think the result will be okay to one and I think Salah will be aha uh -huh, will be named the best player of the game I guess he's going to be named one of the greatest players of all time maybe one day I'll aha uh -huh, I understand soccer better Come to the game. I'm sure you'll just love soccer. Okay, class. This is the conversation. So it would be possible you can practice. And you do it. If you do it, well, that's okay. Now listen. Here I have functional language about making predictions. Now, in this case, the topic is about making predictions. Who do you predict will win the game? No. Are questions in the future or what do you think the result will be I'm sure the other team will be beaten I think mm, will be named the best player of all the game so in this case in that in that uh, post you know, here you can write maybe the name of a soccer player tennis player basketball player it depends on the sport okay uh, next is, I guess is going to be named one of the greatest players of all time. Now here also you can write a name. Maybe one day I understand soccer better. No, maybe it's one day I understand basketball better. That depends on the sport you practice or you want to practice. Okay. In here I have an activity. It's a speaking task. And the topic is about a different sport. So what do you have to do? Or what can you do? Is to replace. Here the topic is soccer. Maybe you can change it to basketball, handball, or volleyball. It depends on you. Okay? And we can make a conversation. Well, let's continue on page 31. Okay, 31. And here I have a, a culture activity about the high the highland games there is a picture not there are th in this case three boys wearing a kind of dress no our kind of a skirt but only that only this the uh, this group because the other are wearing normal clothes also here there are some some kids wearing uh, like like the boys and uh, like the man men here sorry the highland games the Highland Games are a series of sports and cultural events that take uh, place in Scotland between May and September every year. The Games celebrate Scottish and Celtic traditions, such as uh, backpipe, backpipes, kilts, dancing, and heavy athletics. No, here I have the games, the games history, sport involved in the game, and some other traditions. No, let's see. There's an audio here. Let's listen. Unit 2, Track 25, Activity 1. The Highland Games. Okay, remember, in this part, you are going to listen to the, uh, to the activity, and then you're going to answer A, B, C, D, E questions. Okay, like, where are the Highland Games held? In which European season of the year do they take place? Why were the first official game organized? Why did the sport help make the, the game even more popular? What traditional clothing do competitors have to wear? So check those questions because at the end of the reading you are going to answer. The Highland Games are a series of sports and cultural events that take place in Scotland between May and September every year. The Games celebrate Scottish and Celtic traditions such as bagpipes, kilts, dancing, and heavy athletics. The Games History It is believed that the Highland Games have existed for a thousand years. 
According to oral tradition, Celtic tribes held games which were designed to select the best and strongest warriors. The first official games, however, took place during the reign of King Malcolm III, who organized a royal competition to find the strongest and fastest people who could be his messengers. Sports involved in the game Sports often involve competitors' brute strength, throwing ability, or both. These include hammer throw in which the competitor throws a very heavy metal ball as far as possible, hill race in which competitors have to reach the top of a hill as fast as possible in any way they like, tug of war in which two teams have to pull a rope, among others. Many of these sports only happen in the Highland Games, which helps make the event even more popular. Some other traditions there certainly are several centuries-old traditions in the Highland Games that help keep the crowds entertained. There are solo and group Highland dancing competitions, music performances which vary from huge bands marching to individuals playing the most traditional Scottish instrument, the bagpipes, animals, armoires, and Celtic arts exhibitions, as well as food and souvenir stalls, which sell a wide variety of local food and drinks, toys, miniatures, clothes, etc. Last but not least, because it is important to keep traditions alive, all those who take part in the competitions are obliged to wear a kilt. So, you'll certainly see many people wearing their clan's tartan pattern in their clothes. Okay, class. The idea was easy. No, the first part was to understand this topic and then answer those questions. For example, where are the Highland Games held? Exactly in Scotland, no? You say Scotland. Perfect. That's the first answer. Let's continue with number two. In which European season of the year do they take place? Okay, let me see. Let me see. The first answer is from here. Uh huh. Look, events. Uh, the Highland Games are a city of sport and cultural events that take place in Scotland. Okay. And the second question is, in which European season of the year do they take place? Mm. Here is the month, no? September and sorry, May and between May and September every year. What about the season? January, sorry, uh, summer, spring, fall, winter. I believe that the Highland Games have seen for a thousand years according to all the traditions that these tribes held games which were organized selected to select the best and the strongest warriors. The first traditional games, however, took place during the reign of King Malcolm III who organized a royal competition to find the strongest and fastest people who could be his messenger. The sport often involves competitors, brute strength, throwing ability, okay, metal rise. Uh, let me see. I want to highlight the, the, the answer, but it's focused in this part, okay? about September, from May and September. So, we're going to write here. From from May to September. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to correct this. September and May. Perfect. Now, let's see. Why were the first official game organized? Why? What was the problem? To find the strongest. Uh huh. To find the strongest. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Let's wait for, okay? I have problem with this web page. Sometimes I, I, I press any key and return to the to the unit before. I'm so sorry. 
Okay, it's here. Uh huh. Let's continue with an export. Let me see. It's uploading. Uh huh. It's here. Exporting grades. Uh huh. Much better. I'm so sorry, class. But I have this problem. I don't know what happened with this, uh, with this machine. Okay, I'm here. No, and this part says, okay, to find the strongest and fastest. People. Perfect. Perfect. Let's continue. Why do sports help make the games even more popular? Because some sports only happen in the exactly no because some sports only happened in the highland in the highland highland what highland games okay that is the answer let me correct this much better excellent what additional clothing do competitors have to wear so they have to wear a special clothes a kilt uh-huh a kilt that is the name of the clothes teacher what's a kilt this is a kilt no this is a kilt it's like like a dress no but but it's a traditional uh, clothes in Scotland okay here you have the answer are there any famous game in your country so let's see class here in Peru are there any famous a uh, sport or competition maybe in the highland when I say highland it's about that la, la sierra no for example I, I've seen on TV that in some places in the highland they fight to be the most uh, strongest, not the strongest person. They, they fight and this is very terrible, but it's like a game. It's not because they are uh, fighting for something, no, it's a game. Okay, let's see, this is a personal answer. You can answer this, excellent, that could be better. Well, let's continue this part says vocabulary, okay? Confusing verbs. Sometimes there are verbs that are confused. Confused? Yes. For example, hope and expect. When you say hope, it's like you are uh, for waiting for something in your life. No, it's like a, like a dream. You know, I hope someday I will be in in any country. No, or maybe expect. Expect is like like like, like uh, to wait for something, but more real. No? I expect to pass the English test. I expect to pass the English test. No, because I've studied a lot. Let's see. For example, let me see. Here I have wing. Is a wing and wing is sometimes confused with bit. Win is of course ganar in Spanish and bit means derrotar. They are the similar? They are the same? No. One thing is you're a winner and you are beaten. Tu eres ganador y Okay, perdiste, no? That's the idea. For example, I say practice. 
practice, okay? And practice sometimes is confused with play. Oh, teacher, how what? It's different, play and practice. No, 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 no. For example, when Peruvian soccer team, for example, when Peruvian soccer team went to, to Russia for the World Cup, not for the World Cup, they play with many countries, no? And that's what's good, it's play. But remember, before playing, they practice. Ah, that's different. Yeah. Yes, of course. Team A and Team B, no? Or team, uh, team number one, team number two. No, they practice and they, okay, you're going to play, you and you and you, and the rest to the bench, no? A la banca. Another bird that is confused is remember. Remember? Yes, of course. With, with remind. What's the meaning of remember and remind? Okay, remember is, for example, when you mm, when you are thinking of something and you remember. Wow, I remember when I was a child. I used to I used to live in the countryside, for example, no. Or maybe you are talking about a topic. Hey, I remind. It was this. No, it's when you remember but at the moment. No, at the moment, something important. In in the case of remember. Is to you think about something you not know, happened to you and remind is at the moment either for example oops I remind to to close the door <gasps> now that's the difference okay then teach okay oh teach that is easy it's enseñar of course and sometimes teach it's a confused with train yeah, because with teach, you learn, you're right, but with train, it's like when you practice. Okay, I'm going to train because I'm going, I want to speak a better English. No, I'm going to train my English. I'm going to listen to music. But in class, the teacher teaches you. In your house, you train. Okay, there's another one, spend. Okay, there's another one, spend. And sometimes spend is confused with waste. Teacher spend and, and waste? No, what's up? That, that's a mistake. No, it's not a mistake. Because you can say spend, you can say gastar. But you can spend money or spend time. In the case of waste, it's different. Because you can spend familiar moment. You spend time with your family. Or you can spend money in something important. The opposite is waste. No, I waste time with, I don't know, uh, in a new car, and I don't, I don't need a new car. No, you waste money. For example, uh, the teacher said that it's not necessarily the English book, but I asked my father, and he wastes money buying that the the book, but it's not necessary. That is waste. No, when it's necessary, you use spend. When it's not necessary, it's waste. Okay. Now let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. There is one more. Hop, win, practice, remember, teach, spend, beat. Remind, waste. Okay. Ah, okay, number one is here. Okay, listen, here are, are the, the examples. So remember this and don't be confused. That's easy. Okay, that's easy. Hop, listen and repeat. Hop. Win, practice, remember, teach, spend, bid, remind, waste, train, play, spect. Now let's see if you understand the ideas. Choose the correct verb. Naomi Osaka won or Naomi Osaka beat the US Open in 2018. Ideas. Exactly one. Okay, Naomi Osaka won the U.S. Open in 2018. She won or beat Serena Williams in the finals. She beat. Okay, she beat. B. I play or I practice the trumpet 
in the school orchestra. And I play or practice for three hours every day after home. Of course, in the first one is play. Okay, I play the trumpet in the school. But then in my house, I practice. Okay, let's continue. Let us see, my dad taught or my dad trained it, me to play tennis, but now my coach teaches or my coach trains me. Excellent. My dad taught me. Me enseñó. That's good. Uh, to play tennis, but now, in this moment, my coach teaches. No, because you learn. Trains. Okay. In this moment, your coach trains you. I hope or I expect to pass my exams with very good grades. No, this is like a, like, like a, please, God, help me. I need to pass this exam, no? It's like, like, like something you, you, you want to happen, like a dream. I, but here is, is the, the opposite, no? It says, but I don't think I will. I expect my sister will get top rates. She always does well in her exam, no? It's like an expectation. I never remember or I never remind her phone number. Can you remember or remind me what's it? Ideas? Yes, of course. I try to remember, but I can. No? Can you remind me? Como que, hazme recordar, please, for this moment. I spend or wasted a fortune on your uh, phone. Okay, I spend money. I've lost it all. I love it, so I feel I waste no my money. Lo perdí, ahora siento que desperdicié. Okay, that's good. Here, let's continue with the same activity. You are going to listen. Complete a box. No, you're not going to listen. This is from here. Complete a sentence with the verbs in the box. Reminding, spend, beat, one, remember, and inspect. Add the same verse, of course. We are practicing, okay? For example, she, the 200 meters race. She remaining? No, she spent, no, she won. Aha, uh -huh, she won. She won the 200 meter race at the championships. And set a new world, a new world record. She opponents by a whole second. No, she she beat her opponents by a whole second. I okay. Let's see here. I. Her winning a silver medal. I I remember. Okay, I remember. Uh, her winning a silver medal. Uh huh. Excellent. At the last Olympics. So I. So I. Uh huh. So I expect. She will win a gold medal next time. As for me, I need to more time training. Aha, uh -huh, time spend. Okay. Now is that spend more time training? I'm going to be a good runner. My dad, my dad's always my dad always exactly. Reminding me to train, no? Mi papá siempre me hace recordar que entrene. So that's the idea. Okay? You have the answer here. You can pause the video and then you can play. A question. A question. Look at the pictures. Which sports events do you think they show? Aha, uh -huh. swimming, Phelps, and soccer. What is her name? Or sorry, what's his name? It's, I mean, it's his French. 
but I don't remember the name. Or I'm making a mistake. I'm not sure. I'm not good at soccer. What? War with um. Okay, work with a partner. Read that. Read and listen. Then answer the question. So how much do you know about sports? No, this is a quiz. So let's check your answers. Okay, listen. Take the quiz and find it out. Which team was beaten in the 2018 World Cup final? Croatia, Croatia, or France? Exactly. No, this one, Croatia. Let's continue. Number two. Who taught Rafael Nadal to play tennis? His father or his uncle? His father? No. His uncle. Yeah, that's right. Number three, where were the, the, two, the 2016 Olympic Games held? In Rio de Janeiro or London? That was very easy. Rio de Janeiro, I remember. How often do the World Streaming Championship held? Every two years or every four years? Every two years. Where was the, night, the 2019 Champion League final play? In Milan or Madrid? Milan? No, Madrid. Who is nicknamed the Bread Baron? Fernando Alonso or Michael Schumacher? Michael Schumacher. This is about F1, okay? F1. I know this. No, it's about F1, Formula 1. The Red uh, Baron is Michael Schumacher. I know also. Who is the most decorated Olympic athlete in, of all time? Usain Bolt or Michael, uh, Michael Phelps? I know, Usain Bolt is the fastest person in the world, but Usain, sorry, but Michael Phelps, sorry, has the most decorated Olympic athlete. No, he's the most decorated Olympic athlete of all time. Let's continue here. When was the first Tour of France? When was the first Tour de France organized? 1893 or 1903? Yes, 1903. Teacher, how do you know? Well, I love this kind of sports. Who was known as his Ernest? Ernest, Su Alteza, Michael Jordan or Carl Lewis? Of course, Jordan is. Where and when were the first Invictus game? London or Johannesburg? London, 2014. How many world records were broken by Usain Bolt in individual competition, not in groups, individual competitions? Two or three? Two. Okay. Where was Lionel Messi born? Rosario, Argentina, or Buenos Aires, Argentina? In both cases, it's Argentina, but she was born. Sorry, he was born in Rosario, Argentina. No, let's see. If you got 0 to 3, you are obviously not a sport fan. 4 to 6, you probably like one or two sports but don't know much about others. 7 to 9, uh, you're a good all rounder So you're very good at this. And 10 to 12, you're a sport genius. You know about it. Okay, let's see. Here are the answers. Now let's continue. In this part, we're going to work a passive questions. Remember, we saw the the present present passive and the past passive. Yes. Now is the the present. Sorry, the passive questions. Analyze the sentences and answer if the statements about them are true or false. Are the Olympic medals really made of gold? No. Was in the men's 100 meter freestyle swimming record broken last year? Won the Literature Nobel Prize be awarded to a Brazilian? So, this is the first question. All the sentences are in the simple past. Are in the simple past. All the sentences broken? No. Broken is not simple past. This is false. Okay. Now let's see, all the sentences have the verb be. 
Let's check it. R. Wasn't. Wonder uh, B. Yes, of course. Analyze. All sentences are interrogative and in the passive voice. Interrogative, interrogative, interrogative. In the passive voice, they need the verb to be. Okay, true. The last one. All sentences are interrogative and in the active voice. No. How do you identify a, the passive voice? You have the verb be and the verb in the past participle, no? The verb be and the verb in the past participle. Uh, wasn't um, broken here, no? One, the literature Nobel Prize B. Our, no, so this is false, okay? This is false. Active voice, no, is in the passive. How what is in the passive teacher? Easy. Because in the simple present, passive voice, you say, sushi is eaten in Japan. And in a question, you just move the verb be. Is sushi eaten in Japan? That's it. Computers were invented by Bill Gates. You move the verb be. Were computers invented by Bill Gates? The new school will be built here. No? Will the new school be built here? The TV show is going to be recorded tomorrow. Is the TV show going to be recorded tomorrow? Only you move this, only you move this, change place, and that's it. So it was here, look. It was here. It was here. No? In the first sentence, no, in the present and the past, it was here. Look at this. Look at this, no. Only change position, no. Only they change position. And that's it. If you don't remember me, look at this. You think I'm a liar? No, I'm not a liar. Look at this. Here. The Olympic Games are held. Are the Olympic Games held every four years? And here you transform into a question. The World Cup isn't. Is or isn't the World Cup held every four years? And you also transform here. Oh, teacher, you're kidding. No. The match was played at Wimbledon. Was the match played at Wimbledon? And that's it. Okay? And that's it. So, I, I'm teaching you that it's possible, okay? Where are, where were, or where will the first Olympic Games held? The first, look at this information. The first, a teacher is the past, where? Excellent. Where is, where was, where will the Australian Open held every year? Every year is the present, is. Ah, uh, you can see who is, who was, or who will be at the wedding this weekend. Ah, mister, this weekend. So, not today, not tomorrow, Saturday or Sunday. Will be. No? Will be. Now, this one is here. Is. Uh, okay. Is. Will be. Who is, who was, or who will penicillin discovered by? Discovered by the Kubi. Ah, who was? Sorry. Who? Yes, of course. Who was this penicillin discovered by? ¿Por quién fue descubierta la penicilina? That's the idea. Where is, where was, where will the F1 final be held next year? Ah, mister, next year is of course will. No? Perfect. Which famous book is Was of Will written by Daniel Dafoe? Which famous book? Ah, was. No, fue escrito. Okay, look. You need to identify in this case some phrases. Okay, some phrases like every year express the present. Uh, this weekend, so it means that it's not weekend today. So, another one. Next year. No? 
complete the questions. Where the word longest uh, bright? No, you have to complete with the word between parentheses. Where the UEFA Euro Championship? No, in 2024. Look at the date. Who discovered about gravity? No. So, what's your activity? Try to answer those ones and use the correct form like this. Could be am um, is are, could be was or where, will, or maybe there is going to. Okay, class, for the next class, we're going to write a biography. So, try to get information about a special sportman no? that you can write about it. Okay, but remember, use your own words. You can use this, uh, you can use this uh, example so that here, no, girl wonder. So you can use it as a guide, no? One, two, three, and four. You have four paragraphs. No, in this, in this part, you're going to plan it. Okay, class, thank you so much. Always a pleasure to help you. Bye-bye.